Thanks for logging on to Christ Notes today. We're going to continue talking about God's mercy and how there are guests in eternity. That there's not just the bride of Christ, but there's guests. But today we're going to talk about free will. And if you remember a couple days ago, I asked you, go try to find as many scriptures as you can find that specifically say that we have a free will. Because the Bible really doesn't say that we do. If you think about it, what Jesus had us pray in the Lord's Prayer was, Father, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So today, I'm just going to start reading some scriptures that specifically tell us we do not have a free will. And let them stand for what they're, just stand on their own. So Colossians 1.16 says, For it was in him that all things were created, in heaven and on earth, things seen, things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rule, or authorities. All things were created and exist through him by his service intervention and in and for him Ephesians 2 10 says we are God's own handiwork his workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus born anew that we may do those good works which God predestined he planned beforehand for us to take paths which he prepared ahead of time that we should walk in them living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. Even as in his love he chose us, he actually picked us out for himself as his own. In Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, consecrated and set apart for him, and blameless in his sight, even above reproach before him in love. For he foreordained us, he destined us, he planned in love for us to be adopted, revealed as his own children through Christ, in accordance with the purpose of his will, because it pleased him and it was his kind intent. Ephesians 1.11 says, In him we also were made God's heritage, his portion, and we obtained an inheritance, for we had been foreordained, chosen and appointed beforehand, in accordance with his purpose, who works out everything in agreement with the counsel of his design, of his of, and design of his own will. Listen to that. God works out everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his own will. It's our Father's will. It's not our will. Galatians 1, 15 and 16. This is Paul talking. He says, But when he who had chosen and set me apart even before I was born and had called me by his grace, his undeserved favor and blessing, saw fit and was pleased to reveal his son within me so that I might proclaim him among the Gentiles as the glad tidings, uh, the glad tidings of the gospel. Immediately I did not confer with flesh and blood. I did not consult or counsel with frail human being or communicate with any. King David wrote in Psalms 139, 16, Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book all the days of my life were written, before they ever took shape, when as yet there was none of them. So we just let those scriptures stand on their own. And we'll break here, and tomorrow we'll do another study with other verses that talk once again about we do not have a free will. It is our Father's will. And that is a great thing for us because it means we can't help but be successful. Because God is love and everything he does for us is for our best. So everything always works out for us. Be blessed this day. Thanks for logging on and I hope this helped.